For the last three weeks, we've heard explosions just outside of our park, spawning another power failure. Yep, here we go again. Kind of hard to believe. It's out on the street somewhere. Would you hear that? Circuit breakers are still all on. <clears throat> no problem with the cable. Seems like everything else is working uh, for the RV except for power. Unbelievable. It's gonna be another 103 to 105 today. <laughs> was just sitting inside. It's around 10.30 in the morning. I heard a clunk and everything went off. All the ACs stopped. Uh, our monitor went dead. The lights are still on because that's batteries in the rig, but it looks like the park's uh, experiencing another power outage. It's, uh, it's not the park. It's out on the street somewhere. Would you hear that? Somewhere over there, that's where it came from. They're going over to check it out too. And there's another one right over there. Just like the last time. Uh, SRP is going to be having a problem in this area. SRP is the uh, utilities provider for Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> it's unreal. Well, we'll go back inside, fire up the generator, and last time it took about two hours. I'm sure glad we got everything taken care of on this rig so it's set to go. Okay, see you in a couple hours. What's one of the most expensive metals in the world? Rhodium, I think, at about 13,400 or 500 an ounce. What chemical we're picking up today is nearly 20 grand per quarter ounce in weight. Good morning, I'm Chris, and as soon as they get in the truck, I'll introduce you to my wife, Shelly, and her service dog, Grizz. We're on our way into Phoenix to spend some money, and not some paltry amount but somewhere near $20,000. So think about it. What would you buy if you had to spend $20,000 on it? A car, a side by side, jet ski, a solar for your RV, or maybe something responsible like paying off some debt. But what if you were told you couldn't spend it on those things, but had to buy some chemical with that money? Something that most folks wouldn't have any need for. What could cost that much? Well, one of the most precious metals on earth right now is I think rhodium, and goes for $13,400 per ounce. But what you have to buy costs $18,000 per quarter ounce, or $72,000 per ounce by weight. Let's add one more complexity to this devil's game show. You are told that if you don't purchase and consume this chemical, you may die. What the? Somewhere in your life, something happened that set off a chain of events that put you where you are today. Would there be a different outcome had you made better choices? Maybe, but chances are greater that what happened was something that you could have never affected. Who can afford this? Well, not many. Shelly and I made a few good choices in our lives. Yeah, a few bad ones too, like all of us. But overall, the best thing that's happened to us have been the jobs we sought and were fortunate enough to hire on with at a time when great benefits were offered as incentives to attract good workers. We were smart enough to stick with those jobs till the end. So we were able to have medical insurance plans that are showing their worth now. We're driving into Phoenix to pick up my cancer medications. It's called Erlata and it's about $600 a pill or a 30 day supply. It's part of our routine now. We'd love to have it the money 
to spend on bills, but are so thankful that it's there to help us through this. We're hoping it stays with us long enough to defeat this scourge. So what have we spent to date on treatments? I'll let Shelly give you a little outline of that. For those of you who are interested, the cost shown on our insurance for one radiation treatment, which lasts about 30 minutes, is about $5,000. I don't know how people survive in this world without health care. Chris made it to his doctor's office and back just in time to shut down the generator as SRP had rectified the power problem. It's nice to have that generator when these little hiccups in life come along. Hope it works. 40 minutes out on the road. Then, five minutes and a small fortune later, pick up this. Another 40 minutes back out on the road through Phoenix traffic to get back to the RV. We'd much rather be traveling and meeting up with all of you. And with any luck, we'll be out there again soon. We're going to look at this as just a bump in the road. So please, travel safe.